Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Atkinson, and we are here today at Brookfield Zoo's Animal Hospital. One of the biggest challenges of being a zoo veterinarian is the endless variety of species that I work with on a daily basis. On any given day, I can go from looking at a frog the size of a quarter in the morning to checking the teeth on a rhinoceros in the afternoon. For many of these animals, there's a very close domestic animal counterpart that we can base our veterinary knowledge upon. The medicine and surgery of a zebra is not really all that much different than the medicine and surgery of a horse. The care of our Mexican gray wolves here at the zoo is not that much different than the veterinary care of my dog at home. For some of the animals, though, here at the zoo, there's really no clear domestic animal counterpart for which we can base that medicine and surgical knowledge upon, and it's those animals that really challenge us as zoo and wildlife veterinarians. One of our echidnas was recently here at the hospital for a preventative health checkup, and we thought that this would be a great opportunity to share a little bit with you about the care that goes into these animals. Echidnas are a type of mammal called a monotreme. Like other mammals, monotremes have hair on their bodies and produce milk for their young. Unlike other mammals, though, they lay eggs and have a very unique reproductive tract. And they've got very strong claws and very strong arms for digging, and they've got a very unique digestive system with a stomach that's specialized for eating ants and grinding up other insect parts. Those ants are captured on their long sticky tongue, similar to an anteater, which comes out of a mouth that doesn't open very wide. And the lack of that mouth opening can make part of our job as a veterinarian very challenging because we're not able to put in the same type of airway or breathing tube that we would in many of our other animals. It also can make it difficult for us to pass an endoscope or take other instruments into their mouth to, to look around like we would with most of our other patients here at the zoo. They also have quills all over their body, which are a specialized type of hair made out of keratin, just like your fingernail. And those quills pose a lot of challenges for us as well as veterinarians in that we're not able to easily examine or palpate them. And we also are not able to use some of our typical imaging tools like our x-rays. The quills are all superimposed on top of the x-rays, which makes it very difficult for us to interpret the, the bones and some of the organs inside of the body. Echidnas also have a number of specializations within their skeleton that is very important for our veterinary staff to also understand in order to be able to evaluate the health of these animals. Echidnas are able to live well over 50 years of age. Because they are such long-lived animals, a lot of health issues can potentially arise over that period of time, and our veterinary staff puts a tremendous amount of effort into monitoring the health of these animals on an annual basis to make sure that they are continuing to thrive under our care. In order to gain a lot of the knowledge, the skills, and expertise to take care of some of these really unique animals like the echidna, zoo and wildlife veterinarians spend an average of four to five years after graduating from veterinary school completing internships and residency training in zoological medicine in order to really become experts in many of these non-domestic animals. Education is a huge part of what we do here at Brookfield Zoo every day and in many of our videos you may notice a number of people in the background assisting our veterinary staff with various tasks or even just observing what's going on. Many of these folks are here as part of our various education training programs that are focused on training the next generation of conservationists and zoo and wildlife veterinarians. We have great partnership programs with the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine to provide training opportunities for senior veterinary students as well as veterinary interns and residents. We also have partnership programs with Fox College and Joliet Junior College veterinary technician training programs that allow for internships and externship programs as well. All of these programs provide a great set of extra help for our staff in caring for our animals, as well as providing people with the skills and knowledge that they need to be successful in zoo and wildlife medicine careers in the future. The next time you're here at Brookfield Zoo, be sure to stop by the Australia House and see the echidnas and many of the other unique animals that we have here at the zoo.